What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves a great team to showcase for you guys today. Today, we are rocking out with a Zacian and Life Orb Restaurant team that also features Compound Eyes Butterfree. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to join the community. It really does go a long way and it helps me grow as a content creator. So seriously, shout out to all the subscribers. But before we get started with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Adrian for leaving this team in my Instagram DMs. Adrian, you're the man. Thank you so much for leaving this team. Hopefully we can get some wins for you and showcase this team to its fullest potential. But that leads me to say, if you guys want to leave me teams, leave them in my Instagram DMs. My Instagram page is right below my my face cam and there is a link down in the description below so go hit that follow button dm me over there i try to get back to all the dms but i do get a decent amount so if i don't get back to you right away just be patient just be patient but let's get started here top left corner with the team preview the one and only Zacian over here Zacian definitely one of the top tier pokemon in series 12 really cannot go wrong with it we got the rusted sword and interpret sword as his item and ability and then we're rocking out with the best move set for him which is iron head play rough sacred sword and protect Right next to him is going to be Rillaboom, another Pokemon that is just so dominant in Series 12. That's Rillaboom over here. We got the Grassy Surge, alongside with the Soul Fest. I really do like the Soul Fest on this Pokemon. Definitely more my playstyle, rocking him with the Soul Fest. And then we got Grassy Guide, High Horsepower, U-Turn, and Fake Out for this moveset. Middle left is going to be our second Restricted mod on the team. That's going to be the one and only Reshiram. Reshiram's got the Turbo Blaze ability and is rocking the Life Orb as item. And I think Life Orb is a perfect item for him because he's going to be one of those Pokemon where we Dynamax a good bit in today's video. Really good Dynamax Pokemon with Blue Flare, Drake and Meteor both for stab. We got Earth Power for a coverage move. And last but not least, we're rocking Protect. Can't, can't go wrong with Protect. We really cannot. Fourth Pokemon squad is a huge reason why I picked the team to record today. That is going to be Butterfree over here. I haven't used Butterfree since like Series 7, 8, or 9. It was like around there where Butterfree was just taking over the meta. He was really, really strong alongside with Charizard and all that. And I really did like that. I really do miss Butterfree. So I was just like, let me rock out with Butterfree, get him in a video for Series 12. Definitely will be a lot of fun. We got Compound Eyes and the Focus Sash as his item and ability. Definitely its best ability. Definitely its best item as well. Then we're rocking Palm Puff to do dam uh, stab damage, I should say, and heal up allied Pokemon. Rage Power to protect allied Pokemon. Tailwind for Speed Control. And last but not least, we got that Sleep Powder to put Pokemon to sleep. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Regilecki. Regilecki is great at dealing big damage or just a control and speed with E Web. We got Transistor and Magnet as his item ability. Thunderbolt, Bolt Switch, Pivot Out, and then E Web and Protect for his final two moves. Last Pokemon on the squad is going to be Hitmontop. Hitmontop is definitely a little underrated. I really do like Hitmontop due to its Intimidate ability. Obviously, any Pokemon with Intimidate is definitely very, very good. But I do like Hitmontop due to its support um, moves that I can actually learn. We got Intimidate, Eject Button as its item. And we got Close Combat for Stab. Fake Out for Flinches. Helping Hand to, you know, help ally Pokemon do more damage. And then last but not least, we got Wide Guard, which, I, which can definitely come up clutch up against certain Pokemon. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, you guys already know the deal. The rent code is chilling right at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Zacian, Life Orb, Reshiram, and Butterfree team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into battle number one for today's video. Going up against a Palkia and Ice Rider Calyrex Trick Room team. Okay, this one's going to be tough. How should we go into it? How should we play? He's probably going to lead that Ndidi to keep me from uh, faking out. And then he can set up Trick Room easily with either Porygon Z or... Uh, Ice Rider Calyx, or he can actually do it with uh, Palky as well, so this one's definitely going to be tough. Who should I go into this? I think Zassian's going to be a solid lead. Zassian could be a good lead. I don't think we lead the what's it called? I really do not think we lead the hit on top or even bring the hit on top. I think we might want to lead maybe like Reshiram or something, just in case he wants to... This is tough. This is actually tough. Do we want to bring the Reshiram? We go Butterfree. I think I'm leaning a little bit more towards Butterfree here. But again, I just think he sets up Trick Room, and it's just like, and if he goes into like a, uh, if he goes into a Moongus, then he can just Rage Powder us. Hmm, what do I do? What's that player? I'm thinking of just going Rillaboom here. Probably my best bet. I can definitely U-turn out if that's a call, and then bring out like Reshiram or something. But I'm going to go Reshiram, and then I think I might go Butterfree just for back end. I really do like Butterfree for back end support. Do like it. Or we can just go Regilecki or him on top. Nah, we're gonna go Butterfree, yo. I picked I picked this team to showcase Butterfree, so we're gonna rock out Butterfree. But this one's definitely gonna be tough for us. This battle is going to be tough for us. If we can pull off a win here, I'd be super surprised. I would definitely be super surprised. But Trick Room teams definitely really seem to get the better of this team right here. I was using it on the casual ladder, and I feel like that was the only thing I kind of struggled with was uh was Trick Room teams. Trick Room teams definitely struggle with. Okay, let's see. Especially when they have like a Pokemon like Indeedee or something, which he's gonna lead right here. Indeedee and Palkia. Palkia's probably gonna set up that uh Trick room, and he's gonna get rolling from there. That's fine. Or he could Dynamax and just go for follow me. I can't go for the fake out. He's a surge. 
But yeah, it's definitely tough to, to counter up Trick Room when they have a Pokemon like Indeedee or Moogus who could just like Rage Powder or redirect shots with Follow Me and then set up the Trick Room with the other Pokemon. But he's going to roll out here. I could go for Glide. I actually might stay in here. And then maybe you turn next turn. I'm kind of leaning more towards that. I, I kind of am. I kind of am. I'm going to go for the... Do I go for the Play Rough? I don't know if it could be a play, but again, I think Behemoth Blade is going to be a better call. Actually, what does more damage? Behemoth Blade would do a little bit more damage, but just in case he doesn't follow me, even though I think he's going to follow me, we're going to do that. We're just going to double down on Palkia here. But again, he's definitely going to follow me, yeah, and trick him. It, it's just an obvious setup. I probably should have went to the U-turn here, but Grass Guy can still get off a huge amount of damage here. Grass Guy had run through it. Oh, big old damage. And then I think Player Off should be able to counter this up and take him out, right? Yeah, player off takes him out, but it's tough. It is real tough considering he's just gonna pop the Calyrex and he's gonna pop it to Trick Room and he's gonna Dynamax. Trick Room's out about. Yeah. Obviously, I seen that from a mile away. But dude, we could have went to Butterfree here. Actually, no, Butterfree wouldn't have done anything for us. Butterfree wouldn't have done anything for us. Because what would we have done? Put Indeedee to sleep? Trick Room's still out and about. It would have still been out and about. He brings out a Moogus and now he's gonna Dynamax here. The Dynamax is 100% coming out here. Uh, what do I do? I really want a U turn here. Good player off. Playoffs is going to be not very effective. Uh, probably best bet's going to be going into a Behemoth Blade. And then I could just U turn. All right, do I U turn out? Yeah, I'm ready to U turn out. I'm ready to dip here. Save my boy for the back end. Probably be a little bit better. Yeah. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. So now he has Trick Room set up. It's going to be tough. Dynamax should come out. Yep, he Dynamax is Palkia. And we about to be in a tough little position. Definitely a tough little position here. So we'll see how this one plays out. We shall see how this one plays out. But I'm surprised he didn't bring out Calyrex. So hopefully, you know, we can waste out some Trick Room turns just take out Calyrex. Because Calyrex is the scariest Pokemon in Trick Room. Palkia is definitely scary, but Calyrex is definitely, you know, up there for a little bit more scary. Let's see what this guy's going to do. Rage Powder. He's spawned me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on, man. Leave me alone. Your turn's coming out here, Yagi. And we outspeed you in Trick Room. That's cool. Um, okay. I think I have to go Butterfree here, right? I think I'm going to rock into Butterfree. I don't waste out these turns, because if I go in the Reg Ram here, he can go for a Dragon move easily. So, you know, we're just going to do that. And then I can just start Rage Powder and shots. Let's see how this one plays. Butterfree. Butterfree is coming out here. We're using Butterfree as just a tank here. Yep, there's the Worm one. Good call by me not to go into the Reg Ram. Butterfree comes out here. Sash going to poke. So, good thing I did not go in the Reg Ram. We're, we're definitely saving our Reg Ram for Dynamax and rolling out from there. So, we'll do that. Uh, I wonder what he's going to do from here. I wonder what this dude's play is. We are still slumped. We are slumped. God dang Spore, man. <laughs> God dang Spore. Um, I do not think he goes for a Spore again. So I don't even know if Rage Powder's a play. Is Rage Powder a play? I'm gonna go into the play rough. And sh 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 what do I do? What do I do? I could go for the Rage Powder. Again, I think he just goes in like Palm Pump or something. Or he's not gonna Rage Powder, is he? There's no shoddy Rage Powders. No shoddy Rage Powders. And, you know, I'm just going to Rage Powder. Screw it. Screw it. We're going for the Rage Powder here. Just in case. Just in case he wants to go for the Rage Powder of his own or something along those lines. But he's probably going for, uh, if I had to guess, like uh, an attacking move. Just take out my Butterfree, right? Yeah, smart play. Smart play. He drops a nice little Palm Puff. Built. We're dead. It didn't even matter what we went into because Amoogus is obviously going to slow us. So we do that. And now he's going to go into a Max Flare. That's totally fine. He's going to set the Drought. So Drought's going to come out and about. And we should be able to eat that up. We don't. Ouch. 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 Is that a crit? Wasn't even a crit. Okay, so now we're forced to bring out Reshiram, and phew, this is tough. This is so tough. <laughs> this is so tough, dude. Balgi is destroying me and Trick Room right now. Absolutely destroying me. Absolutely destroying me. Uh, we gotta go on the Reshiram here. And what can we do? Can we do anything? We can obviously, you know, fake out Amoongus here. We could fake out Amoongus. And we could definitely go for a guard if we want to. But I think our way out here is going to be Dynamaxing and just going straight into like a dragon or something. He wants to be damaged. Or we could take out a move. How many turns are going to be left in Trick Room? Two. Two turns left in Trick Room. I'm going to Dynamax. And I think I'm going to drop a Worm one here. Actually, I think it might be Policy. So we're going to do it. We're going to, we're going to drop this. And I'm just going to fake out the Moogus. I'm just going to fake out the Moogus. That's my play. Maybe Palkia thinks we're going for a guard. That could be a huge turn for us because we do have the Soul Fest. 
Let's see how this one plays. Let's see how this one plays. We definitely need to be able to eat up a shot because then I can guard and we can kind of just like cancel out Trick Room. And this is his last turn in Dynamax, too. It is his last turn in Dynamax. So I really do wonder what he's going to do. You're going to swap? No. I was going to say, maybe he could swap and just uh, try to get one more turn off with uh, what's that thing saying? What is that Pokemon saying? With the Calyrex and the Trick Room. Because there's, there's going to be one more turn left of Trick Room after his turn. But Fake Out's going to poke here. We're just going to give a nice little flinch over onto that lovely little Pokeball Mushroom. And we got to hope that we can actually eat up a Wormwind if, if he is going into us. Because maybe he thinks we're guarding. There's definitely an option with that. Fake Out comes out here. Yeah, give it the little clap skis. Make a flinch. And what's Palkia doing? Is he going for the Wormwind? He is. The Wormwind comes out here. We got to eat this. We got to soak this. I love you, Regiram. I love you! Regiram with the big time soak. He's going to get the attack drop, but uh, Regiram is special attacking. Physical attacking for uh, Robum here, which is fine. Minus one. I can, I can deal with that. Wormwind's going to poke here. Send it, baby. With that life worm. Uh, hey. Big old damage. Grassy God can take that out. We can flare up next turn. We kind of go from there. Actually, do we even Grassy God? Mmm. It's tough. But Trick Room is over. Trick Room is over. Trick Room is over. How are we going to do this one? This is going to be tough. This is going to be super tough. This isn't Rillaboom slower than uh, Palkia? I think I found that out. I think I found that out. But in this case, we gotta go for this, uh, this Flare here. And I can't go for Grass Guy just in case he wants to go for a Rage Powder here, right? I can't. I can't. Let me see the speeds on these guys. Let me see the speeds. What's what speeds looking like? Trick Room's... Actually, no. Trick Room's not gone yet. Trick Room is not gone yet. I have to remember that. Trick Room is not gone yet. So, you know what? We're just going to... Right? I mean, let, let me see. Trick Room's not gone yet. Yeah, Trick Room's not gone yet. So, you know, we're just going to fight. We are going to max guard here. And I am going to go for a... Uh... What do I do? Good high horsepower. Yeah, I'm just going to go for a high horsepower here. Drop it into Palkia slot. That's my plan. That's my plan all day. We have to waste out these Trick Room plans. Guard is up and out. It's going to be close. We're definitely kind of close. There's Sports can come here. And yes, yo, we block it. We block it. That's huge. That is huge. High horsepower comes through. That's beautiful. We drop in that thing. That thing's gone. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Okay, that's a huge turn. Trick Room is gone. It is gone. But we still have a problem here. If he brings out Calyrex, he can double hit us. And I do not have Wide Guard ready to rock. I do not have Wide Guard ready to rock. Trick Room's gone. The grass disappears too. That's so tough. That is so tough. Grass disappears. And who's he going to go into? What Pokemon is he going into? We come up with a huge max guard. This is such a good battle. He's going to go into the Calyrex. So Calyrex flies out. Um, I think I have to target down the Calyrex more than anything, right? He goes for Rage Powder. He goes for Rage Powder. But we have to target down that Calyrex. We have to target down that Calyrex with a Flare. Max Flare flying through here. Going to go here. And do I double down into him? High Horsepower definitely in play. I'm with it. He's going to Rage Powder. If he Rage Powders, our uh, Rest Ram can deal some damage. Let's see. Yep, there comes the Rage Powder. Oh, no. Oh no! <laughs> this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough. Flare's gonna fly through here. This should KO the Moongus, but still, yeah, the Ice Boop can definitely do us dirty. We take you out. Can you miss my Res Ram somehow? Can you miss my Res Ram, please? High Horsepower coming in hot. No way we lose this. This one's goes so close. We do like no damage. Trick Room comes out. Oh, we Trick Rooms. Um, is there a way we can we can win this still? Is there a way we can win this still? I'm trying to think. Is there any possible situation where we can win this battle? I don't think so. I think we're dead here. I think it's over. If we can land this blue flare, we'll definitely win. But yo, what a battle. What a battle. I guess we'll try to U-turn. U-turn probably does the most damage here. So we'll go for the U-turn. We're definitely losing this one. Miss my Reg Ram. Or do something stupid. Let's see. Glacial Lance comes through. That's GG's. It is over with you. Dude, we almost had that one. We almost had that one, but I knew Trick Room was going to be super tough for us. I knew it was just going to be crazy hard for us, which is ex exactly what it was. But at least we kept it close. Came down to the wire, came down to legit one move and one turn. Let's grab ourselves our first victory in battle number two. Going up against a really cool Groudon and Zassian team that also features Lightning Rod, Raichu, and Fake Out, and Speed Control. All that good stuff with the Raichu. And then he has the Tapu Fini, the Charizard to pair with the Groudon Strout, and last but not least, the Whimsicott for Speed Control. All right, Butterfree, you're getting that lead all day. Butterfree's coming in straight for lead. Hopefully, he's not rocking Tapu Fini because you know that Terrain could definitely do us dirty. The Terrain could definitely do us dirty. I think we want to go into uh, Hitmon Top. Did we go into Hitmon Top over... Uh, Rillaboom, just for the Intimidate, because Intimidate could be good on both of his uh, 
restricted mods. So I'm thinking of just, you know, rocking out with intim Intimidate him on top. Could definitely be good for us. So yeah, I'm going to rock out with that. I'm going to bring Zassian and I'm going to bring Resurin. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But this one, this guy seems looking good, but I feel like we can definitely pull off the win. We can definitely pull off the win. We, we've been playing so good in uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. I think the past two videos were both perfect records. If you guys haven't checked them out, definitely go check them out because like we play amazing. In we make some great calls, some great plays. If you guys want to see top tier gameplay, definitely go check out those past two videos. But hopefully, you know, we can keep the win streak alive and win these next two battles and roll out from there. Roll out from there because we were pretty high. We were top 1500 and then I lost that one. I dropped like 700 rounds. I get out of my face. I'm at like 2200 at this point. So we'll see if we can get bounce or if we can bounce back and, you know, get back up higher on the rank. But that leads me to question of the day. I didn't even ask in battle number one. What is your guys' highest rank you have ever been at in rank battles? Whether it be singles or doubles, let me know your guys' highest rank. For me personally, I've been top 500 once a while back, like in season, like early season. I, I totally forget. But yeah, I was, I was top 500 once. I was the highest I ever got. Definitely a lot of fun. But he goes in with, uh, he goes in with the crowd on alongside with, uh, Raichu here. And Raichu can fake out. I feel like Raichu is going to fake out. And at this point, you know, I'm just going to go for the sleep powders. He's going to set the drought. Uh, what do I do? He fakes out my hit my top. We just eject by now. Which is and I'm just going to go for a nice little sleep powder here. And I'm just going to fake out the crowd on. Just in case, you know, he wants to fake out my, uh, Butterfree, I'll fake out his crowd on. And then we'll just go from there. Because we know Raichu is definitely faster. We know Raichu is definitely faster, but if he Dynamaxes, that could, that could be scary. But I, don't, I just don't think he's going to Dynamax be minus one with the Groudon. I just don't see it happen. He's going to withdraw the Groudon, which is totally fine by me. Totally fine by me. He's going to go into the uh, the Top of Finny, and there's the call with the Top of Finny. Great call with him for the Top of Finny. I'll give it to him all day. Lovely little call. And that was the one Pokemon I was scared of. I said that from the beginning. I was just like, oh, we got ourselves a tough tough customer here. He's going to swirl with the Misty Swirl, and he's going to go for the Fake Out on the him on top. Oh, no, I want the Butterfree. That's totally fine. So he, so he doesn't even know if I was going for Sleep Powder. He has no idea if I was doing that. No idea. Okay, so from here, who's faster? That's the real question. Raichu or Butterfree? Let me see your speed, Butterfree. Let me see your speed. No, you are not. Not even close. Not even close. I would love to get off a of Tailwind, but I just cannot. He's going to take me out now, probably with a Bolt Switch. We could hard swap into maybe like Zassian or something. Hmm. What do I do? Do I just let that thing go down? Good Rage Powder these shots. Yeah, and we know that the Volt Switch is coming through. We know that the Volt Switch is coming through. Uh, I'm going to try to set up a Tailwind. Let me get my play. We're going to try to set up Tailwind, and we're just going to go for... Do we close combat on that thing? Maybe just wait for a Jack button. I'm with it. We're going to close combat on the slot. We know the Volt Switch is popping. E-Web's going to fly. Okay. That's not too bad. That's not too bad, because Butterfree can eat up an E-Web. Our Jack Pack is going to come out here, and if I can get off this Tailwind, we could be thriving. We could definitely be thriving. A Moonblast or like a Gleam is definitely going to come out here. So I'm going to swap into Zacian and, and roll out from there. But again, dude, if I can get off this Tailwind, whoo, Jeans could be thriving. Jeans could be thriving. I definitely need this Tailwind. I definitely need this Tailwind out. Come on, yo. Do not take out my poor little Butterfree. What's he going for here? What's he going for? Do not take out my little Butterfree. We need my Butterfree here. You know, for a Gleam. Butterfree, eat that up. That soaks up all day, Butterfree. Let's go, Butterfree. Let's go, Butterfree. I love you. I love you, Butterfree. You're the best. You're the best around. Best around, Butterfree. Nobody better. Nobody better, Butterfree. Uh, from here, I'm just going to Palm Puff. And you know what? I'm going to take out the Raichu. I'm going to say later, Raichu. I am going to take out the Raichu, right? Yeah. Raichu's definitely going to be our play to take out. Because I do think he's Sash. I do think Raichu is definitely Sash here. So I'm cool with this. I wonder what Finny's going to do. Finny might actually swap or protect here. We're going to see. We're going to see because it's really not going to do much against Zacian. It has a fairy move, which isn't going to do a lot. And it's probably has water, which the drought was out. He set the drought for it. Not too shabby here. We still have Butterfree just, just chilling here. Just chilling here. And that Tailwind was so big for us. Player off's going to poke through here. I do think this thing's Sash, right? It is Sash. So good thing we double down with it. Going to send a Palm Puff his way. And I wonder what he's going for with the Top of Finny. What is he going to do with the Top of Finny? What are you doing with the Top of Finny? Probably just taking out my Butterfree. I actually kind of hope he does. In that case, I'm just going to bring out Regiram. Yep, Gleam's going to fly through it. That's that's totally fine. That's totally fine. We bring out Regiram here. We're going to Dynamax. We're going to get Molina. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Regiram, get on out here. Get on out here. I can always hard swap the Zassian too if I want to get an Intimidate. But uh, Top of Finney's kind of scaring me a little bit. I ain't going to lie. Top of Finney's definitely scaring me. Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Regiram coming out here. You're getting to Dynamax all day, baby. All day. He's going to throw out Charizard comes out here, which could definitely Dynamax. 
That's tough. Who is going to die next year? Either way, we need this Max Quake. We need a special defense piece. So I'm going to go into that. Um, I am going to Behemoth Blade. Do I double down into Finny? Why do I feel like Finny's going to get the Dynamax? Charizard, uh, we, we got to go here. Charizard could definitely get the Dynamax. It's tough. I feel like someone's one of them is Dynamax and one of them's Garden. Like I do, I don't know. I'm I'm I do not know. <laughs> We're sitting in a tough spot where he has two Pokemon that pose such a huge threat right now. So I'm tuning at the Dynamax. I definitely need a uh, special defense boost. So Max Quake, even though it's not going to do too too much damage, the 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 boost, the special defense boost, is definitely going to help out the squad a lot. Definitely going to help out the squad. Let's see what he does. He's Dynamax, and he's got to be. Yeah. Who is it? Who is it? That's the real question. Kind of hoping it's Charizard because we do have a Blade flying into it. That could be some decent damage. Let's see. But I wouldn't be surprised if it's Finny. It is a Charizard. Okay. Okay. I'm with it. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. He's probably going for a Flare or a G-Max Wildfire into my Zassian. But still, if we can get off this uh, the shot here, we can get off some big damage. Yeah. Blade's still coming out here. Not very effective, but still, dude. Look how much damage it's going to do. Look how much damage this thing's going to do. Send it, baby. Look at that. Look at that. All day, baby. We love Sit. We love Sit. Max Quake flying through here. We're just chipping up some damage. And we still have Tailwind. We still have Tailwind. So we're going to get some nice damage off. Woo! Actually did a lot more than I thought. And beautiful special defense is poking. So we got special defense rolling out here. I do like that. I do dig it a lot. I do dig it a lot. A lot, a lot. He's going to go for the flare, right? Obviously. Yeah, Wildfire. Later, Zassian. Sorry, Zassian. You're dead. Sorry, Zassian. You are dead. Okay, so from here, what do I do? What do I do? We know the Gleam's flying, obviously. We're going to be able to soak that up. Get up. Gleam's going to fly here. And uh, we could, you know, just fake out the Toppy Finny here. Solar Power's going to chip. We could guard here. He might, he might guard. He might guard. Hmm, what is my player? How many turns left in Tailwind? That's the real question. We have one more turn left in Tailwind. Uh, I don't want to show. I don't want to show my wide guard just yet. I do not want to show my wide guard just yet. So in this case, you know what? I am just going to Wormwind and take out the Charizard because I know we outspeed him with Tailwind, and I want to go for this close combat to take out you. But I don't know if it's going to. But so we're just gonna go for Fake Out here. Fake out 100% of the call. He's gonna guard. I knew it. I knew it too. That's why I, I was gonna close combat. I was gonna close combat. So we're gonna go for this. Pop that. I should have closed combat. Okay, Heart Sunlight's gone. We have one more turn left in our uh, Dynamax. So does he. Wildfire's chipping out, and I think he takes speed, though. I think we have to show the wide guard now. Just so Gleam doesn't do a ridiculous amount of damage onto me. Right? And do we Quake? Do we go for the special defense boost? No. We have, we have to take out Charizard here. Right? We have to take out Charizard. Right, I'm trying to think. Do we take? Do we have to take out Charizard? We're definitely going here, and we're definitely wide. Battle's gonna be so close, so close. We wide guard here. Let's see what he does. He's gotta be going for the wildfire. He goes for the airstream. He's gonna take me out with that. Ouch, dude. Oh no, we go. He goes in the res ramp. We love that. We love that. We love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. We'll take that all day. We'll take that all day. I think, he, I think he's predicting this Gleam to take me out. Cool. Cool, so we block. I'm just going to keep wide guarding out. I'm just going to keep wide guarding out. We go for the Wormwind. That takes out you all day. Now he has Groudon for his final Pokemon. We have to go for wide guards. Like, wide guards is 100% of play. And who do I take out next? Do I take out Finny? It's tough. <laughs> this is so tough. Um. Hmm. My play. He's gonna bring back out the drought. So you know, fire can do a lot of damage here. He definitely do a lot of damage, dude. What a battle! What about? I want this win so bad. I want this win so bad. And I feel like the move set that the Finny's rocking is Gleam, Muddy Water, and then like Calm Mind or like Protect and something else. Like you know, it's one of those move sets where I do not think he has anything but a double hitting move. Okay. So play. Do I, do I wide guard again? I have to, right? He poses such a threat. He poses such a threat. We can go for a blue flare. Uh, hmm. I think we have to go here. 
I think we have to go here and just Y guard this. We could help a hand it. But I'm just gonna go for the Y guard. Just in case. Like, dude, he has so many Pokemon with double hitting moves. Y guard's gonna have to poke here again. So we're poking the Y guard. Let's see what he does from here. He goes for the gleam. Good. Y guard working wonders. Y guard working wonders. Go for blades too. Go for blades. Go for blades. Do it. Go for blades. Blue Flare comes out before you. Take this thing out in the drought. Take him out. Let's go. That's huge. That is huge. That is huge. So what I do from here is just Y guard and just and just get after this thing, right? Do I Y guard? I feel like I have to, right? It's been sending gleams left and right. We have to Y guard. We have to Y guard. It's a must. We have to Y guard because if not, he can take us out with Dazzling Gleam. But again, if he goes to like a Moonblast, okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, that works. That works perfectly. He had to go into Dazzling Gleam. There's the win. All I could say is, what a battle. What a battle number two. I can't believe we won that one. Hit him on top, definitely clutched it up. Same thing with Resram. Just huge clutch out there. Resram was able to take out that Groudon in one shot due to his drought, which was absolutely amazing. And he outsped the Groudon, which was beautiful. Take him out there. The wide guards came up clutch because I... I like I predicted, Tapu Fini only moves that ahead was probably Muddy Water and Dazzling the hit. So wide guards were just funneling out for us, and we were just sticking to our gut with that one, and it worked perfectly. So we're sitting at one and one. Let's grab ourselves a winning record for today's video, going up against a Kyogre and Zacian team, alongside with Landers for Intimidate and a Great Dynamax Pokemon as well. And then he has the uh, Zapdos, which is probably holding a Life Orb, and it's going to be a Dynamax Pokemon. Then Wimscott and Amoogus, both for support. Um, what am I playing here? How am I playing this one? Regilecki could come in here. Regilecki and Butterfree could be a great lead, a wonderful lead, to be honest. I really do like that lead. I really, really do like that lead. So, you know, I'm going to lead both of them and get rolling with that. So, we're going to lead both of them. We're going to bring Sassian, and I think we just bring Reshiram. We're not even going to bring Rillaboom. Even though Rillaboom is type nice, I just don't think we need it. I just do not think we need Rillaboom. Even though, like, you know, Rillaboom can just dump on Kyogres. We have the Regilecki for that point. We can Dynamax. We can do a lot of work. We can do a lot of work without and I feel like we already posed a threat with Robo. Maybe he's like, yo, I'm not even going to bring Kai Ogre. Maybe he's thinking that. We'll see. We shall see. But let's see who he leads. I'm going to guess it's probably Whimsicott and Zapdos. Right? If I had to guess. No, Zacian and Lando come out here. Which, I'm cool with Zacian and Lando coming out here. I'm definitely cool with that. I really do not mind it. I really do not mind it. Uh, I could see a Protect coming out from him. I might hard swap. I might hard swap my Regilecki. I might. I might do it. Or I could just protect him. Let's set up a Tailwind. I definitely set up a Tailwind, but who do we put to sleep? I think a protect might come out from his Zacian. Yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to do that, and I'm just going to protect. Do I protect him this turn? Could Volt Switch in the Reggie. I should protect Regilecki this turn. Just see what he's he's dealing with. So let's see what he's doing. Is he Dynamaxing? Yeah, so he Dynamaxes all day. He could drop a Rock. I think he's going to go for the Quake. Um, we're hoping he's kind of just like protecting Zacian, and then we can just, you know, put that Pokemon to sleep and go from there. It could be Lumberry, but I do think it might... Actually, it might not be Orbit. It might be Lumberry. It might be Lumberry, which could really be throwing us off here. That could really do us dirty if he is Lumberry. I can see it being Lumberry due to the fact that Zapdos usually holds life orb. We protect our Regilecki. Show me that Zacian's protecting. Or at least going for Regilecki. We'll see. Hemoth Blade comes through here. And he was going after Regilecki, so that's cool. Probably dropping a rock onto my Butterfree. Yeah, that's fine. That is fine. Again, as long as he's not Lumberried, we're chilling. As long as he's not Lumberried, we're, we're chilling here. We'll put that Pokemon to sleep, and then we will roll out here. And start sending E-Webs, you know, bring out our own Zacian. And just go from there. There's no way he's buried. There's no way he's Lumberry. No way he's Lumberry. There's no way. No way he's buried. No shot. Cool. Beautiful. We love it. We love it. So we put that Pokemon to sleep. He is not Lumberry. Now we can bring out our own Zacian. And I can kind of just go from there. With it. Zacian, come on down here. We're going to bring out our Zacian. We're going to start e and controlling and going for Behemoth Blades. Love it. Love it. And then we'll have Resuram in the back for 9-Max. Mwah. We love it. We love it. So we're going to go here. We're going to go for that Behemoth Blade. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'll say that that Pokemon's going to be asleep for definitely another another turn. So I'm going to go after Zacian Slide here. Zacian just poses such a big threat. 
because we can do so much damage onto him no problem whenever we want we have e-web to take out speed control and then we can just behemoth blade and get double damage which we would love to drop next turn. this guy's thinking this guy's thinking hard hopefully uh, as long as he doesn't protect his ass here we, this turn will be this turn will be solid e-web comes out here that's fine he doesn't protect his ass that's all we want he was gonna slow down that Sassian and maybe just maybe this behemoth blade could take him out just maybe just maybe do him dirty dude take him out I don't know if he's gonna be able to do it let's see we're really hoping take him out let's go that's a huge turn for us that's a great turn for us beautiful turn for us this guy's definitely gonna be asleep he hasn't been asleep for one turn yet night night Beautiful sleep from the Butterfree. So Butterfree came out here doing work for us. We still have this Regilecki chilling on the field. I think I'm just going to E-Web and Behemoth Blade down onto that uh, Lando slot now. Could definitely do work for us. Could definitely do work for us. We just get rid of that Zassian. That was a phenomenal call for us. Phenomenal call. He's going to throw out his next Pokemon, which is going to be Whimscott. So Whimscott could definitely uh, Tailwind. Could 100% Tailwind. I'm just going to do this. And you know what? I'm just going to Bolt Switch here. I'm scared to Bolt Switch. I do not want to bolt switch. I'm just gonna stick with the e-webs here. I'm just gonna stick with the e-webs. He's gonna protect. That's fine. That's fine. We're dropping this behemoth weight into Lando at this point, so I'm with the big damage. I'm with the big damage. How much damage are we gonna do? This might actually take him out. This might take him out. Double damage. Woo. Stab plus one. That's it. Make it happen, dude. Just take him out. Just get rid of him. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. This is why Zassian's so strong, dude. This is why he's so strong. But yo, that's looking like a winning record for us. We still have our Dynamax in the back end with Reshram. But I do have a feeling he's just going to cancel battle, right? Did he bring Kyogre? Is Kyogre coming out here? That's the real question. Because he could Tailwind at that point. He could definitely Tailwind. And I could just protect and, you know, drop a uh, Blade onto him. Let's see. Let's see who comes out here. It is going to be Kyogre. So he's probably going to Tailwind here, right? In this case, I'm just going to double down into him. An absolute must. We have to double down into him. Hemoth Blade could come out here, but I think just play rough is going to be your call. We got to do as much damage as we possibly can. And do I e or do I protect? I'm going to protect. I'm just going to start wasting out a couple turns. Because again, he's got a Tailwind. We know he's going to Tailwind. We know he's going to go for that Tailwind and into the, uh, the Water Spout. It's just an all-day play, right? It's just an all-day play. Okay, he protects Kyogre. I'm cool with that. Wonder what he's going for here. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So he gets off the Tailwind. Playoff's gonna... Playoff's gonna bounce. And... We gotta double down to Kyogre, right? Yeah, let's double down in them. Let's double down in them. E-Web is definitely gonna be your call. I would rather... Mm, is E-Web your call? I mean, he's gonna outspeed us regardless. Could Dynamax and Reggie. I could have, but I'm just gonna save it for the Reshram. Definitely play. Helping hands. Ooh, that's scaring me. That's scaring me. Assassin, can you eat this up? Assassin, can you eat this up? I know Regilecki's not. Oh no. Did I did I speak too early and say that that's a winning record? Did I, did I speak too early? Dang, dude, I wish I would have brought the the, the real boom now. <laughs> All right, Reshiram's coming out here. Uh, what's her play? Change up weather? Could definitely change up weather. Turbo Blaze is coming out here. It's beautiful. And I honestly forget what Turbo Blaze does. I think it only has to do with his move, right? Moves can be used... Okay, regardless of the target's abilities. Okay. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. That's the Dynax. I could go for the Quake. I'm thinking of just dumping on this thing. I think this will kill it. We know he's helping Handy. We know he's helping him. We're going to take out you. Oh, no. Oh, my lord. This one's going to be super close. It's going to be super, super close. Really, really close here. It's going to be bringing it down to the wire. This battle's going to be super close. We're definitely hoping that this player can take out. I think it might be able to. Stab, super effective. Wimscott's definitely a lightweight. I know it's in the rain, but I'm hoping we can take out. Another helping hand is probably going to fly here, right? Yeah. Helping hand gets cooking. Low battle coming out here. How much damage is this really gonna do? Water spout comes out. Wow. Wow, we just lost life or damage. That is insane. 
That is insane. What a battle, though. What a battle. We take him out with the crit. I think we were taking out my, him regardless, but Life Room's going to take us out. I can't believe we lost that one. I thought we had it in the bag. I thought we had it in the bag, but of course, OP Kyogre and Whimsicott combo comes out here and just cleans up the work. Just cleans it up instantly. What a battle. I want to give one last huge shout out to my boy Adrian for leaving this team for me in my Instagram DMs. I absolutely love it. Seriously, great team all around. I know we went one and two and grabbed ourselves a losing record, but those battles were this close. This close really came down to one turn and one turn only. But seriously, great battles all around, and I love the team so much. You guys got to remember, these are high level master tier or high rank master tier battles. So we're going up against some really good opponents. So making a battle go that close really shows how good this team actually was. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.